it's really heartwarming. There's a sadness to it, but it, it's also, if Sharon would want you to know that life goes on. She was tenacious, she was resilient. She was 100% um, committed to Belizeans and to the wildlife of Belize. She really created a movement. When you think about how that zoo began, basically as, a, as an orphanage for animals that were no longer needed for a documentary. And she was able to create this world-class zoo. She, out, she like took, she, you know, in Belize, I don't know if they still have, they used to have this drink called squash. Uh -huh. It was super sweet, citrusy. You get cavities just smelling it, right? So she, like, you take squash, you make orange juice, right? She took lemons and made lemonade. She took this situation and created this world-class place where people, their stepping stone, their, introdu their introduction to the wild heritage of Belize will often begin there. Think of the hundreds of thousands of school children. So tonight it, it is bittersweet, or tomorrow night it's bittersweet, but it's also the next generation 